On this week's episode, ask yourself, are you thinking big enough? It was May of 2016 where I kind of sat back and thought, look, am I thinking big enough? And the answer was no. What I want to do in the future is I want to start buying businesses and make them much stronger. And there's no way I could do that by doing just mortgages. So uh, I decided to start a personal brand. Researched it, read a lot of books about it, and uh, shortly afterwards I, I began. And am I thinking big enough now? No. But. I'm getting so much further ahead today than I ever was. So for me, big is where it's at, man. I, I don't, when I do stuff, it's never small. It's always gonna be big. Now, I know that's a challenge for a lot of, lot of you. You know, how do you get started? What do you do? You know, who do you reach out to? For me, Gary was one of the books I picked up first. Actually, I was talking to my mentor and I told him, hey, look, I wanted to start a personal brand. And he goes, you know, you gotta read, read Crush It. And, and that's what I did and it gave me, the anchor to uh, to start, but like deep down inside me, that burning desire I had, I had to do it. You know, I know where I want to be, you know, in the next 15, 20, 30 years from now. And for me to get there, I'm not going to do that in the mortgage business. There's, there's not enough income coming in the mortgage business, especially when you're like a, a, a one man show or, you know, I can surely hire a few people, but the revenues aren't there for what I really want to do. Uh, and, and this is this is a very strong platform for me. Is another thing I was talking to a builder friend that I know. He's been in business for many years, but he's a solo guy. He wants to build his business. He can't build it by having a one-man show. You need to leverage. You need to really leverage. I just think bigger. Hopefully, he gets it one of these days. I know you're watching, so uh, you know, start leveraging, and you'll get there. You'll eventually get there. And you know, having having a camera guy like Dylan following you around while you're building and going from job sites to job sites, man, you're gonna kill it on YouTube. Look at it this way. I have a canvas, right? That, that's my life. The pen is, or the painting brush, is the tools that I have to learn how to paint, but I don't have enough paint, which is the money. And the money comes from when I, when I have this brand built and uh, and I can leverage it, then I can start buying more paint so I can paint another, a, a better canvas. You know, any of you guys that are one man show, what I would do is, you know, ask yourself a question. What do you, you know, what's the medium for you? Is it, is it blogging, like writing? Is it podcasting or is it, uh, is it vlogging like we're doing here? Put out content every single day. You know, when, when people start going big, it's like, oh shit, I'm gonna be the asshole. I'm gonna be leaving my friends behind, my family behind, what will people think? For sure, that's what it is. That's, that's the biggest factor of not going big. It's a huge factor of not going big. the conversation we had, you know, it's like, well, what if this? Yeah, what, yeah what exactly. If what, what if this, what if this doesn't, doesn't happen? What, what if I lose the money? What if, you know, my spouse leaves me? What if, how about my kids don't respect me? You know, or my friends leave. But what if everything works out and things get better? Like, again, man. I am not scared to fail. Like shit, continue doing, man. Continue doing and just building it. Uh, am I scared because my health is gonna go bad? Yes. I'm gonna fail to, to start something and fail? Fuck no. Never. Never. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> so guys, I hope you, I hope I brought you some value on thinking big enough uh, again the things that I'll do if you're if your business is uh, start something you can start it easily right here on Instagram stories and snapchat just you know about your day and uh, and just record yourself no need to edit or anything like that just put up raw stuff and, and put up there anyway guys live it up mm -hmm.